everybody. It's time to grow your YouTube channel. And here's how we do this. In the comments below, please share about your channel. You can leave information about your channel and everyone else go below and read all the comments. And if there's a channel down below that you're interested in, go check them out. If you love their content, just subscribe to them. And I want to just encourage all of you to do, you know, look at each other's channels and to, and to subscribe to each other and to grow your YouTube channel. And you are more than welcome to do this same event on your YouTube channel. Just do a meet and greet, so to speak, and let all your followers check out each other's channels and then they can all if they like the content subscribe to each other and this will help everyone grow their channels as well i think it just is a nice gesture and a nice thank you to your followers and it's a nice gesture to my followers to help you grow your youtube channel and i want you to grow your youtube channel and that would be um, a nice thing for lots of you are really working hard on growing your YouTube channel and that's what I'm doing I'm working hard on growing my YouTube channel I consider you my lifetime friend I figure we're gonna be here together for a long time I'm gonna cry with you you're gonna cry with me we are both going to be in this together for the long haul and I want you to be successful because after all, you're my lifetime friend, right? Because we are both YouTubers and we both have YouTube channels and I want you to be successful. And I want you to share you know, your joys and your sorrows and your channel and your life with me and I wanna share my life, my joys, my sorrows with you. And uh, you know, basically people are like books. You can read my story and I can read your story. So it's kind of fun. I mean, I want you to grow your YouTube channel. So I think that one of the fun things I can do for you is to let you share your channel below. Call, tell me all about what your channel is. And uh, this way, other people, as you're telling, uh, you know, you're talking to me, you're also talking to my followers in this video. And they can all... Look at your channel, go over, check it out. If they like the content, they can subscribe to you. And that would be a really fun way to grow your channel and to get more people to follow you. And so I'm just talking and showing you stuff so that you, while you're looking up and down at everyone else's channels, you'll have something to look at. Now these guys here are pheasants. We're thinking about selling them rather than winter them. And we might just turn this into like a storage unit. Clay and I have been talking about different changes to our farm. Um, the, we may only take our rabbits to freezer camp this year, not all the Brahmas and turkeys because our flock is fairly young and we may want to just see how they do over the winter because Brahma chickens, which are what we have, and I'll walk over there and show you them, they are heavy winter layers. They lay more eggs in the winter than in the summer. And uh, so we are going to, you know, check how they do and rather than take them to freezer camp now, we may take them in the spring. We usually like to do them in the cooler weather. It just is a lot better when you're working with meat and meat production. And uh, this is the pond <laughs> that we're debating whether or not we're going to keep this or get rid of it. So it's just really no use. But when we have our bees, our bees can drink out of this. So we're going to have to decide what we're going to do with this. If we're going to take this apart or, or not. Uh, so that's another thing that we're kind of going back and forth on what we're doing here on our little farm. Now, this apple orchard, it isn't ours, but they're taking out those apples. So 
we suspect that they're going to grow a smaller growing like a dwarf apple tree and these didn't produce so that could be another reason i think that they're taking them out do you have enough to drink shorty was that a good drink hmm? oh it was good okay he liked that and uh there he goes Let's see, I'm going to show you those Brahmas. Now, ooh, the bunny's in the pen over there. I put a little roof on him. I'm going to go check on him after this video. Here comes Sam Kilmowski, the black cat, and OC. There's the rabbit. See, he's over there. He's not in the pen yet. There's the rabbit. That, uh, if you've been watching the videos, I've been hoping to gather him up. So, so there's... Sam Kilnowski. You guys have been eating a lot. You're getting chunky, huh? And there's O.C. O.C. has come a long way. I'm so proud of him. He was so afraid of people when he first came here. I kind of want to keep him here forever and not adopt him out. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, now, want to see that big old fat chicken? These are Brahmas. They were the meat chickens forever. Right there, he's the Brahma. And we have uh, three different colors. There's the Brahma. And um, of course, we have turkeys, we have guinea fowl, we have a few bands of which we want them to sell. There's Gunther. Hey, Gunther, how you doing? But uh, these Brahma chickens, they lay more eggs in the winter than in the summer, and they love being outside. That's a rooster. There's the rooster. The females of the black ones actually look different. I don't see anybody outside. They're still hanging out inside. Yeah, I know. These guys get fed inside and outside. I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing a lot of the chores this winter, which is fine. I did it last year because Clay, you know, he's still healing and he can't always take the slippery path down here. But I personally... Um, encouraged him not to do the chickens this year because I felt like it was too much for him just this year because the flock is young and he was getting really tired um, just because he was doing a lot of different types of things and I just felt like the flock is young and I feel like it's premature to go ahead and do these guys for freeze the pamp this year so but I always try to play because he's been doing this for 40 years and then I, I kind of just pray and think of it. Look at him. Are you happy? Hello. Because Betty, you're happy because you were up for freezer camp, huh, girl? Oh, there's Gunther. Gunther. Are you trying to get the girls to like you? He's... Oh, my goodness. I think I ended up with three times. That's okay. So... Hear them? I love the sound of turkeys. My turkeys. Well, hello. Hello. If you talk to Turkey and go gobble, 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 a lot of times they'll gobble back. But hello. I don't know. How are you doing? So I'm looking forward to getting some eggs because I'll tell you, these subjects all came up too because we were not getting any eggs because these babies are so young. And so we're like, where's the eggs? Because it's already October. We didn't get any eggs. That's like, oh my, usually it's April chicks. September eggs but they'll be laying soon and you have to feed them laying mash and they have to have light and all that but they were just young and it wasn't you know something that we expected so it was kind of a weird thing because I thought I'd be having eggs a lot sooner but I mean I didn't expect it before September and it's almost November but it's just a different breed and they're just going to do what they're going to do and uh, it's just the way it is, so. Okay guys, so with that, remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard fun. God bless, we'll see you in the next video.